Alright, so we've had a large number of students in our room with regards to deploying their website on Azure. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to quickly show you how to do that using the template on msa.ma sports slash drive. Um, so if you quickly navigate to that msa.ma sports slash drive, um, we do have a zip file called module free website template. Just download that and zip it, unzip it, and you should receive a bunch of files like this. So you got your index.html and your style sheet.css, and inside here we've got some uh, images already in there. Uh, you don't have to really worry about it too much. So what you want to do is you want to open up uh, Visual Studio, come up to the top here, file, open website. And just navigate to where that folder is and uh, make sure that you've clicked on the root of that file so module free website template and click open so on the side here you can see you've got your index.html and your stylesheet.css um, so if you're using the template from the website uh, what you need to do is you need to change up there where it's got your name here just seems for your own name so, then down here for your uh, screenshots you want to change um, this so you take a screenshot of your app copy it inside image and just replace this section with your whatever you called your image and over here you want to um, you want to link to your project files so that for, for your app so you Upload it to Dropbox, OneDrive, whatever you want. Just put the link in there and then just write a brief description about what your app does. Um, be as specific or as general as you want. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, and then when you're ready to publish your website to Azure, um, navigate to um, your portal and navigate to your uh, website. Uh, and up here you see you've got get published settings just click that and it will start downloading and inside visual studio once it's finished downloading what you want to do is come up here to build publish website import and browse for your published settings file that you just downloaded and open it up click ok uh, just uh, validate your connection Make sure everything's all fine and dandy. Alright, and then just hit publish. Now what it will do it will start uploading all our files to Azure for us and we don't have to re we don't have to do anything at all. So we'll just give it some time and wait for all that to happen and once it's finished uploading it will open up um, our website in the browser for us so we can see uh, our changes Alright, and here's our website, and that's pretty much it. Uh, if you make any changes to your file and you want to re-upload it, you just do the same thing as before. So you go up here, build, publish web app, and just click publish, and it will update the files that have been modified to Azure. And um, if you don't see changes, like the changes that you have made to your website, you might want to open your browser in private mode um, because your browser would probably generally cache the browser, uh, your web page. So uh, just bear in mind if you don't see the changes made, um, just open it up in incognito or private mode or whatever you, whatever your browser calls it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I saw uh, some students are having issues, um, like they've deployed their app, their web app, but it's still, um, 
the landing page is still visible um, and it's not displaying their HTML file and that's because um, some students uh, have named their main HTML file something different than index.html um, and if you do that and Azure doesn't know which file to open up as uh, your main default page um, so there's a couple ways to fix that you can just you can rename that file to index.html or you can go into your Azure settings uh, into your web app settings in Azure um, click all settings application settings and then down here um, just add that file name so I don't know your file might be called um, msa homepage.html or whatever you got added down here this is how um, Azure knows which web page to open first so as you can see you got default.html default.html or your index.htm index.html um, so what, what Azure does is it goes through this list here and whichever one pops up first it will load as your default page and yeah that's pretty much it